Assassin's Creed Mirage is an action adventure game, and finally, we won't see an Assassin's Creed with RPG elements. Well, it's not like that. An AC code named Jade will be an RPG game, and Ubisoft still loves money, unfortunately. However, let's focus on the points specific to Mirage. And before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Well, many things that we saw from AC Mirage belong to this genre, such as the length of the game, which is between 15 to 20 hours. However, some elements like cutscenes and character designs seem reminiscent of previous RPG games which may not be ideal for an action adventure title. Actually, I didn't like the cutscene I saw from the gameplay trailer and it was very robotic and it should not be like that because it is an action adventure game and Mirage is not a very big online game. In the second episode that Ubisoft recently published for the promotion of Mirage, we saw that the skill tree in the game will not be similar to Valhalla. And like most action-adventure games, there will not be many abilities in it. And it's worth discussing whether Mirage will have a smaller skill tree than Valhalla, let's talk about it. Personally, I wasn't particularly satisfied with Valhalla's extensive skill tree, as it felt overwhelming and filled with uninteresting abilities. Ubisoft tried to make the game long, and because we had to play a lot, the game should have content to keep us, and not say to ourselves that it's just a waste of time. And guess what, the game didn't have any content in terms of story, character development, gameplay or anything else. In Valhalla's skill tree, Ubisoft not only includes abilities that were of little value, but also place abilities that should have been available from the beginning of the game. Honestly, this decision frustrate me greatly. However, in the case of Mirage, since the game is shorter in length, the skill tree might not be as extensive as Valhalla's. If it will be, after completing the game, it's possible that we won't obtain as many abilities. So the question arises, are these abilities worthless and useless like in Valhalla? In this scene, we saw 17 abilities that should be more in the game, but so far it seems that we have some basic abilities. For example, one of the abilities that we can get with one skill point is that we automatically perform a roll when we want to land from a dangerous height which reduce the amount of damage taken, which is very simple ability, and some abilities might be as cool as this one. As I said before, AC Mirage is not a game that wants to be very big, and remember that Mirage was supposed to be a DLC for Valhalla. So we have to lower our expectations, but I think we will see an acceptable skill tree like what we saw in AC Unity and Syndicate, and I hope it will not be like the skill tree in Valhalla. So, thank you for watching till the end, what do you think about the skill tree in Mirage? Comment your opinion and I will definitely answer your comments. Thanks again for watching, till next time and may the stars guide your way.